All right, guys, so how's this for luck? Just use the router to make this uh, router insert for the table saw. Just used this router to do it. Then I mounted the router in it and, oh, and the router died. <laughs> the second I mounted it in there, the router died. It's plugged in, but it ain't running. So, nothing's locked up. This is spinning freely. Once I calm down, I will, uh, crack this puppy open I'm hoping just the switch went bad or something but uh we'll see it doesn't smell burnt it doesn't have that uh, burnt motor smell at all so thinking it's just the switch or something like that just seems kind of weird <laughs> the second I mounted it in that in that uh, insert, it uh, it suddenly didn't work anymore. All right, so there's two screws right here. I've already got those out. This top cover comes off. This is the speed control right here so first thing I want to check is that this switch is opening and closing the way it's supposed to so the black wire coming in off my cord lands on a terminal right here and the other black wire should be coming off of the switch Let's see if I can get the switch out of there Yeah, that's definitely my wire. Okay. So that's the switch. Right now that switch should be open. And it is. And the switch is not closing. So what I should be able to do is bypass this switch like this. No, they got a different size terminal on it. For a reason, I suspect. <laughs> Somehow, I think they thought of this. All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze this female spade terminal down a little. Let's see if I can get that to grab that terminal. All right, that's got a reasonable grip so let's put this puppy back together get the speed all the way down get these puppies back in get this held in place all right so again it's loose but it's covered up so now I got the speed all the way down and now as soon as I plug this thing in it should come on grab hold of it 
So that is a bad switch. So I just need to go buy one of these. However, in the old router table, it had that separate switch thing. So until then, I can get this tidied up inside of here, possibly even re-terminate that wire so it grabs that blade a little better. All right, so we need that. No longer need this. Yeah, I know I'm cutting wires on the inside of my router. Don't freak out. Strip you back. Strip you back. Need to get this like that. Okay. So we're gonna see if I can get the clamshell on it that way. Yep. All right. We're gonna come up with something different here. Let's see what I have more room. Let's try it back here. Hey, look at that. That's, that's almost right. <laughs> She's good and tight. All right, so I don't want that hole left open right there. That looks... So we're just gonna let the, uh, the switch act as a plug for that hole until I get a new switch. So obviously this is now disconnected. It doesn't do anything. And we are straight wired. Router is alive. It's alive. <laughs> I am going to hang on to this. The other one's still in here. I'll hang on to that so I can make sure I get the right size to put on whatever new switch I get. Until then, I'll figure out a way to mount that other uh, switching mechanism that was in my router top, my uh, router table, over onto the underside of this new one I put in on the table saw. That way I'll have a switch.